How to do, effectively communicate with your co-workers. When you say, with all due respect, do your colleagues hear, Jane, you ignorant slut. Then you need a crash course in diplomacy. Instruction step 1 The word but, as in, I understand what you're saying, but I don't think it could work, makes people defensive. Replace it with and, as in, I understand what you're doing, and don't think it could work. You're still saying the same thing. Step 2 Liberally use the word appreciate, as in I would really appreciate it if you, as opposed to just could you. In one study, doing so persuaded people to do a favor 80% of the time, as opposed to 55% when it wasn't used. Did you know, according to one survey, 90% of us think we're good communicators but only 41% of us think others are. Quick tip, more than 80% of communication is nonverbal, so keep an open posture unfolded arms, palms exposed, uncrossed legs. Step 3 When you speak to co-workers, drop their name into the conversation. They'll listen more closely and perceive you as smart and friendly. Step 4 Be brief. Research shows that people get bored and begin tuning you out after 7 sentences. Quick tip, make eye contact, but not constant eye contact. Looking someone in the eye longer than 5 seconds at a time can seem creepy. Step 5 Slow down. People who speak slowly and wait a beat before answering a question are perceived as more intelligent than fast talkers. Talking slowly also helps avoid misunderstandings and gives the listener the impression that you're carefully considering what you're saying.